Hey, I'm the Wolfman, and I want to thank you so much for tuning in. I'm here today in the Canadian wilderness in uh, South Central Ontario, Canada, and I'm about to take you on a really cool journey. This is going to be a bushcraft weekend. So, so I've been sitting here, you know, the day's been sort of going on. I've kind of been enjoying myself doing all this footage, and you know, I felt something kind of funky on my leg. So I, I lift up my pant leg and check this out. This, now I don't know how well the camera is going to pick this up because he's pretty small. This is called a tick. And um, I don't know how well you can see him. Like I'm looking in the little display beside the camera. Um, I'll see if I can maybe get him a little closer there. See, you, oh, there we go. There we go. Look at that. You can see he's kind of like uh, a multi legged bug. Now I'll give you a little lesson on ticks uh, how ticks work is they, um, uh, you know, they hang upside down for many, many, uh, sometimes up to a month, and they wait for something to walk by. And uh, as somebody thing is walking by, they'll drop down onto it. They'll wander around on their body. And these little guys, they're so light and small that you can almost, like, not even, um, you can't even really feel them walking on you. It's very, very rare. Uh, and then they'll they'll puke up a kind of acid, and they'll ram their head right into your into that acid. And they'll connect themselves to your body. So while they're doing that, your body of course bleeds because the skin is pierced and, um, and then they drink that blood. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to take this little guy here and uh, I'm going to see if you guys can, can you see that? Well, that is, is the camera going to pick that up? Because he's, uh, he's pretty, pretty nasty looking, this little guy. Um, so what's going to happen now is as I bleed, he, this little thing is going to drink the blood um, and use it as part of his reproductive process. Normally what happens is he drinks his blood, he drops off me, or she I guess, wanders off and lays her eggs. But here's what the problem is. Inside these things, they contain things like Lyme disease and all sorts of other stuff, um, all kinds of other diseases and parasites. So what I have to do uh, and you can see right here I have him in my uh, little Swiss, uh, this is a Leatherman, and there we go, and I mushed him, and that's it. Unfortunately, I had to end his life. Now, I feel kind of bad to do it, but if I did not do that, and I forgot about him, um, and he was on my body, and I flicked him or touched him or something like that, and, um, and, and he got scared. You know, some people do weird things, like they put automotive petrol on them, and they set them on fire on their skin, or uh, weird stuff like that. Uh, what happens is, um, you know, they will puke whatever's in them into you. And if they have Lyme disease, now you're going to catch Lyme disease. And that's pretty horrible. Like, obviously, no one wants to catch a disease. So I mushed him, mushed him good um, in my, with my little Leatherman wave there. Uh, yeah, you can see him. There he is. Uh, so what I'm just going to do now is I'm just going to put him in my fire. And, uh, and that's the end of him. So just kind of a cool little, just random, teachable moment, wilderness fact. Be careful of ticks. They can kill you.